All right, well, hello, I'm Jock, and welcome back to Pikmin 4. Last time, well, we did, we finished off the Blessing Arcadia, and on this one, well, starting things off, uh, let's check out the lab. Okay, <laughs> I'm creating a new item. Well, I developed a prototype with the materials I had on hand. What did you do? Uh, the Treasure Gauge Plus. You can now see the total amount and locations of... Oh, shoot. Total amount and location of treasures. Time to go back and double check your walk. Okay. I mean, I kind of... Well, I can only see when I actually had them all done, but... Alright, I guess I'll take it. I don't see no either not to. Uh, for items, I think I'll take some more bomb rocks. I'll have it so that I have three in my inventory in case I need them again. And the other stuff, uh, I think I'll hold off right now. Come back and see if you ever need anything else. Uh, we could do more night expeditions considering we got two new leaflings, but eh, I think I'd rather go back to the day. You know, uh, where you're going next? Okay, time to rescue Captain Olimar. Yeah, about that. Again, I love the idea. But let's save the heroes hideaway for last. We don't know what's going to be out there. 86 treasures! Compared to 34 and 60. Goodness. And there's 80... Jesus, 86 out here. It doesn't tell me how many onions and rescues. I didn't realize that. I didn't think about that one until now. Either way, I want to get the serene shows done. Alright, just like always, it's going to suggest ice and blue Pikmin. So I'm assuming the last one it's suggesting is going to be the... Uh... Purple Pikmin, but we don't have them yet. Good thing Steve knows how to swim. Actually, hold up. And that should be. F Let me just get all, all, all blues for right now. Just because I know there's the onion over there that I want to grab. So we'll deal with that in a minute. Also, I say it's a good thing that Steve knows how to swim. Is the water level higher today? That could be something, although. That could be something interesting, but at the same time, maybe annoying if the water level changes. Like, there's more water on some days than others. But if I don't know how to actually control that, then that always be the best. Either way, that's gonna be real quick. Yep. Oh! That just straight out drained the water. Oh, they're not even interested. Oh, they just draw. <laughs> I guess that makes some sense, but I thought they'd do a little bit more than just fall. Oh, Steve. Wait, where is Steve? Oh, he went back to base! Adorable little puppy. Okay, now let's go for the 35 and 35. Now look at the map. There's that melon right there I can't do anything with. Uh, that dandery battle. Yeah, we, dandery castle we finished. Uh, I didn't do this one yet. How do I... It's why. Okay. Got some there, we got some there. We got a lot of stuff out here. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot to explore. I barely even scratched the surface of this place. Also, I've been reading my memos and whatnot. Uh, the missions are all the same. Wall of Bloom, all that. Cure the Leaflings, blah, 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 blah. What did I miss? Oh, the ones that I completed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the ID badges, which... I kind of already see these. I'm not a big fan of how they keep showing up. Oh, come on. Oh, right, you, Bernard. Uh, Captain's Diary number five. People who are incapable of caring about those around them, or living, or about living creatures in general, they never save anyone. They spend a lot of time, you spend a lot of time with your companions. It's important to be thoughtful and considerate of the way you treat them. Amber Shepard. I've woken up, and we picked up an SNOS signal from a Captain Olimar. I never thought there would be, still be undiscovered planets out there. Yes, the mission is going to be a dangerous one, I felt it. The new rescue officer recruited recruited to join our team will stay behind at HQ while we investigate. Sean, I think. We will soon welcome new rescue officers. That's that is, we've officially decided to add rescue pups to the team. We may not be able to exchange wards with our canine partners, but once we've built trust and understanding through careful training, I'm certain the history books will remember their acute sense of smell and revolutionize our rescue work. Red Shepherd, the 36th captain. Swimming lessons. Mars has shown herself to be very, a very talented swimmer. She can transport non-swimming Pikmin across the water by carrying them on her back. To be honest, she could probably teach me a thing or two. I can't even swim in a spacesuit if I don't have my favorite space float. I don't believe I've ever seen a space dog like Mars before. First of all, she's huge. 
but she also has an adorable leaf at the tip of her tail. She seems to get on quite well with the Pikmin. I can't help but wonder if there's some kind of connection between them. For the courtyard. The same color onion. I found another onion of the same color the previously fused onion, but had it transported anyways. When it fed, we got 20 Pikmin seeds of the color that we propagated. A zumping one of your own species for nutrients is a horrifying yet impressive power move. Rock Pikmin. Another nightmare. I had a horrific dream last night. After I met my doom facing off against a creature, the Pikmin carried me back to their onion. I've often thought that we might share a powerful bond, but perhaps that was only wishful thinking. Blossoming memories. This area is, a bl is blooming with radiant blossoms. I recall how in the spring I would go for a stroll just to enjoy the flowers in my neighborhood on Planta Hakatate. Imagine my dog frolicking beneath the fall petals seemed to put my trouble uh, troubled mind at ease. Alright. So all that in like six minutes in. Let's move out. Right, I... No. I, I did that one. Dang it. I keep forgetting which button does what. Give it a view. Get over here. Yeah, this is where having faster swing speed might have been handy. Okay, good job, team. I say that, but I really am proud of these guys. They really are a good team. They all do their jobs spectacularly. Okay, one peach, come on out. Well, that is there. Hey, when will I learn? Is there another one close by? It might be, and I just haven't discovered it yet. I'd say the most likely ha there is most definitely one. I just haven't found it. Ooh, what a dumple! Just straight out murdered, mudlord. Oh, okay, hold on. Therefore, we'd probably be better off at the original base camp. They should be fine. Yeah, that one's on the other side, so there has to be one over here. But first off, let's deal with the crawdad. Yep, there you are. Ice are just too good sometimes. You can't use this space as it is right now. I am aware. Thank you, Captain. We've done it. We've gone up Excalibur. Uh, meanwhile, my Pikmin. The blue ones are right there. The ice ones are there. Yeah. Like, I hate to just to, uh, have them move directions, but at the same time, it's... Making them take a while to get back here. I also don't need them moving all this stuff, because it'll just be faster just to have them do it the other way anyways. Okay, good job. I think we'll just explore this area then. Yeah, because once I know that the statue is in... Oh, now there's someone's... Oh, it actually tells me the series. Okay. Because they should get that statue up pretty quickly. I'm at least hoping they should get that up quickly. Also getting towards the first quarter of the day. Ooh. Okay, yeah, there's a the statue. Again, it's nice that I can see it from the distance. Never mind, here they are. <laughs> so glad they move with the thing. With the, uh... With the ship. Makes it so much easier that way. Swords and Shield series, okay. Oh, is that supposed to be a Pokemon joke? I didn't realize that. Maybe not. 
Because obviously Swords and Shields were a thing before Pokemon Sword and Shield, but when I hear Sword, when I hear and read Sword and Shield, especially in a Nintendo game, that's gonna be the first thing that comes to my mind. Go force my little ants and do your job. Give me up. Okay, we still have time left in this in game day, and can I tell this one's gonna go? I have about half because I can't get the other ones yet. Oh, okay. I'm like, how does this one? How does this bridge walk out? <laughs> bridge complete. I'll say it definitely does not seem like an important, uh, a necessary bridge, but probably a, it'll probably be useful depending on how, where my Pikmin are going from. Okay, everybody! Everybody now! Hopefully that bridge is gonna be done. But I get a feeling it's gonna take... Yeah, if those guys are running back, it's gonna take a little extra. I'm guessing they're the last two. Yep. Yep, yep. I'm gonna say, I'm waiting for noon just to show off all this water to recede. What would... Okay. I'm assuming they should take it back the... yes. Come here, little guy. They got that. It's dangerous to go into this wall right now. Actually, I might just make all my Pikmin blue Pikmin. Okay, good. He can still charge in the water. That seemed like one of the things that may not have been the case. Yep, yep, yep. Water level recedes because we're at noon. And let's get all blue Pikmin, considering I need... Considering there's a lot of water in this area. This is essentially the fourth location from Pikmin 4, really. Pikmin 4? Pikmin... Pikmin 1. The fourth location from Pikmin 1. Where you're kind of just stuck... Mostly using blue Pikmin for everything. Cause that location was like 90%. Shoot. That did not go the way I wanted it to. That's annoying to me. I wanted. Ugh. I was trying to tug at the dang tail. Couldn't get the tail. <clears throat> the four Pikmin died for nothing. Come here. Again, these guys know what they're doing. Put them in the right situation, they know what they're doing. Ain't stupid. Poochie ain't stupid. Okay, you guys ready? Good. Continue fetching. How do we get that? I might need Steve, actually. Oh! I think that's a Flaric. Also, it's interesting to see a Pulley Clam Clam actually in the water. Really? Really? Okay, this should be the last of it. Good job. Yeah, very interesting to see an underwater- Oh, they're even taking the clam? Oh, wow! I don't remember them doing that before. Okay, jump on Steve. Yeah, I'm assuming I have to jump to get that one.
I just, wow. Yeah, it was definitely one of those bridges that you definitely needed. It seems like it was definitely needed. I only know there could be a way around it. Okay, crab. Stick to the pond, crabby. Oh. Crud, I missed. <laughs> Anyways, more Pikmin for me. There we go. <laughs> Broke his arm and everything. Ow. Right. Ah, oh, I should have had out more Pikmin. Oh well. Would have been nice if they went around like opposite directions to do that job, but oh well. Uh, how about we use, because I got it, game. Give me the pack, thank you. Let's use an ultra spicy spray just to get them all the flowers. But nothing more than just a speed boost. Oh no, there was another way. I keep doing that! Uh, yeah, how about we take care of this wall first then? Wow! Okay. Yeah, the power of, uh, power of spice is amazing. Ooh, grapes. I'm glad I kept looking, because I'm like, is that it? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, they changed that from Pikmin 3. I was expecting them just to take the grapes by grape, not <laughs> the entire thing. Okay, hopefully that- well, never mind. I gotta say, hopefully the banana's not too heavy, but I got Steve here. Steve can carry, like, the equivalent of 30 Pikmin. Or 50 Pikmin? Something like 50. 50? He can carry a lot. Come here. Oh, you can carry the- Oh, right. Uh... I say right, I didn't know. Okay, I was assuming that maybe it was- mm, Maybe I was spending too much Pikmin onto it. Yeah, this was a very productive day. Not a lot left to explore, though. And probably only two more Flaric. I guess the main question is, is that Flaric going to be found over here, or are we going to find some more at the Hero's Hideaway? How do I get over there? I know I need Ice Pikmin, I don't have Ice Pikmin on me, but how do I get over there? I get from this side. No? Oh! Oh, from that way, okay. Wait. There's a dun- wait, I didn't even see the dungeon over there, what?! Did I just go past it, like, multiple- I must have. I don't remember seeing anything. I have no idea what that is that they just unearthed. Oh god! These guys unearthed trouble. Thankfully I got Steve here to really, like... Make the difference. Fantastic. So you guys gonna find a smaller crab? No, I think that was a cubit. Oh. Uh, I'm guessing that's a lore. Okay. Shoot. Actually, they're fine. 
Are they that? Wait, where are the others? Oh god. Oh god, that was a bad idea. I think I lost two of them. Dang it. No, I'm not going to rewind for that. Ah, oh, such a shame. But oh well. No one was rescued. We did find a good amount of stuff today. The mysterious squish fish. The Nutolite shell. The slapstick crescent. The dawn postul postulates. The, fest the zest bomb. The giant fossil. The Brightest Sword, the Lamp of Inspiration, and the Mock Bottom. I only got 4% out of all that. Okay. I know there's a lot of items left for me to be found out here, but... Dang. Steve the Weird Breed, up dog. Do you happen to know where he was born? The ancestors had lived alongside the Shepherd family for generations. I don't know what plant they're from originally. But those dogs certainly, uh, certainly have the perfect disposition and the right talent for life of the rescue pup. Obviously, I'm talking about their carrying abilities, but they're also strong diggers and have a nose for, uh, have a nose for, have noses made for the scent tracking. Combined with their excellent vision and soft floaty coats, you, and you've got the perfect partner. Plus, they're so cute. So then the short answer is no. All right, so next time we'll be moving back to that location and seeing what else we can do. How much is left? A lot, obviously. Uh, there's no more onions. We got 34 more treasures and unknown amount of people left to rescue. But it looks like we might be almost done with the above ground, so it seems like most of the stuff we're going to be needing is going to be below ground. So we'll deal with that next time. So long for all and have a good one. Bye bye.